<laughs> yes, little kitty. There has been a rise in global temperature in recent times. And depletion of the ozone layer is one of the factors behind it. Ozone layer? Yes, little kitty. Hey, friends. I'm sure each one of you must have heard about the ozone layer in school. So, in today's episode, let us go beyond the atmosphere and explore this invisible protective shield that surrounds the earth and tackles a globally important question. What is the ozone layer and what's causing a hole in it? Zoom in. Hey friends, have you ever wondered why do your parents ask you to apply sunscreen before stepping out into the sun? Well, that's because of harmful radiation known as UV rays or ultraviolet rays emitting from the sun. But despite their fascinating name, too much exposure to the sun's UV rays can increase the risk of skin cancer and can severely affect your immune system. Not only that, but these rays can even harm the single cell organisms, plants and aquatic animals. But don't you worry my friends, because between the sun's harmful rays and life on earth lies an invisible pale blue protective shield we call the ozone layer. But the critical question is, what is the ozone layer? Well, for that, we need to travel up, up, all the way into the atmosphere, where some oxygen molecules that contain two atoms absorbed energy from the sun's UV rays and split to form a single oxygen atom. Then, these single atoms mixes with the remaining oxygen with two atoms to form a thin layer of oxygen gas with three atoms to form the ozone layer. This layer is about 3 to 5 millimeters in thickness and surrounds the earth shielding and protecting the planet from harmful radiation coming from the sun. Everything was safe and fine for billions of years until in the 1970s, scientists discovered that this thin layer of gas is slowly depleting and evidence revealed that certain man-made chemicals were responsible for it. Yes, my friends, chemicals such as chlorofluorocarbons also called CFC and nitrogen oxide coming out from a wide range of industrial and consumer appliances, mainly refrigerators, air conditioners and fire extinguishers below towards the ozone layer and begin to destroy the oxygen molecules resulting in thinning of the ozone layer which is popularly known as the ozone hole. But. Fortunately, all is not lost yet, as with increasing awareness about the harmful effect of CFC and other chemicals, the production and consumption of such substances have decreased to a significant level. And as a result, the ozone layer is slowly getting healed and getting back to its original form. But as a responsible person, we should play our part to serve the ecosystem as well. So, what can we do to help? Well, there isn't much we can do about the CFCs that were released already. But there are some things we can do now and the first thing to do is spreading awareness about its harmful effects amongst our friends and family. The other essential thing we can do is if you have air conditioners or refrigerators more than 20 years old. Make sure you replace it with a new one and be sure to have the old one disposed of properly. And the easiest way to help our planet is by sharing this video with your friends and family. 
So hurry up and do it by the time we feature our next segment called Trivia Time! Did you know the word ozone means smelly in Greek? Because the gas has a strong odor. Also, CFC molecules are highly stable and can last for up to 100 years. Yes, and unfortunately, this gives them plenty of time to find their way to the ozone layer. So, let's do our best to stop them and the right time to do is now! Remember my friends, as the great Carl Sagan said, and I quote, The hole in the ozone layer is a kind of skywriting. At first, it seemed to spell out our continuing complacency before a witch's brew of deadly perils. But perhaps, it really tells of a newfound talent to work together to protect the global environment. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Ah, never mind. Hey kids, you liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!